quantitative easing can have both positive and negative effects, and its overall impact depends on a variety of factors, such as the state of the economy and the specific design of the QE program. Here are some potential advantages and disadvantages of QE. Advantages, QE can stimulate economic growth by increasing the money supply and encouraging lending and investment. QE can help support asset prices, which can stabilize financial markets and boost consumer and business confidence. QE can help combat deflationary pressures, which can be harmful to the economy by reducing consumer and business spending. Disadvantages, QE can lead to inflation if the increased money supply leads to higher prices. QE can lead to asset price bubbles if investors and financial institutions use the newly created money to invest in high-risk assets. QE can lead to currency devaluation if the central bank's actions lead to a decrease in the value of the national currency relative to other currencies. QE can widen income and wealth inequality by benefiting the owners of financial assets over those who do not own such assets. Overall, whether QE is good or bad depends on the specific economic context and the design and implementation of the program. While it can have potential benefits, it also carries risks and drawbacks that need to be carefully considered. As with any monetary policy tool, it should be used judiciously and with care to minimize the potential negative consequences.